certain people are blessed to be a great songwriter. Certain people are blessed to be a great artist, a great performer. Few are blessed to be both. Years ago, the early 30s, there was Well, I, I, was, I always played in a band and, and uh, in high school, and I, and I sang and everything, so, like, but I didn't really think, I mean, the only singing I really did, you know, like, the only practice I ever had or, or anything was just, like, in the car. I never really took voice lessons. And, uh, and I think, I don't know what it was, but, I mean, there was some point when I, probably when I got out of Berkeley that I realized, like, people had, people enjoyed, like, my, like, the songs I would, when I would sing and play. And every time I would like try to play something like solo guitar, they'd be like, yeah, you know, like, let's hear the next thing. Come on, sing something, you know? With songwriting, hopefully one can hear through a bad performance of a song or a bad display or demonstration of a song. But the optimum situation is when the song itself is crafted in an excellent way and it's presented in an excellent way. Are you tired? Do you want someone to come along and help you stay I had lived in Philadelphia for five years before I moved back up here to New York. And at the time, the, the, the music scene in Philadelphia was rich. There was just a lot of it going on and great songwriters. And three of the songwriters were friends, friends of mine who were sort of making careers for themselves. Um, Amos Lee, George Stanford, Melody Gardot, and they're all doing great things right now. Um, but at the time it was just sort of this like really cool community. And something strange happened when they left town uh, to go on the road and tour sort of one by one. Um, the, the remaining community had this sort of sense of loss and like sort of desperation kind of searching for what what they were going to do next. Like, like, okay, my friends are doing this, like what am I going to do? Um, and some people would like put out albums really quickly or uh, um, book these lengthy tours and then come back broke, you know. There, there's just this sort of sense of like, okay, I have to do something with my life. Um, and I, I sort of took a step back and realized, wow, I wonder what it's like to be on the other end, to have left town, to have left your community, your family, your friends. Um, and what is it like on the road and, and you know, you're suddenly you're in the public eye and how do you have to act on stage and what is it like when you come off stage. And, you know, that's got to be a strange life to live. Um, so this song is a lot about that. And also, ultimately, at the end of your career, whenever that is or whenever that, whatever makes that happen, what, what then do you go on to do? Goals to reach the next level, I think start now. I think start by what I did, entering my stuff to, to people who, who want to listen to it and, and who care about music and can do something with it. Uh, and we had talked about this earlier, it's just, uh, I, think, I think true talent rises to the top. And if that's kind of, that's kind of, my, that's kind of my purpose, that's where I'm going, man. And uh, I just gotta continue growing, because I'm certainly not at my pinnacle point as a songwriter, so I hope that my career's not at its plateau either. So uh, um, I just, my encouragement is to keep going and continue, just the advice I would give the younger people. Keep going myself, writing more stuff, better stuff, stronger stuff, and uh, getting to know awesome people, uh, and uh, interviewers, and songwriters, and uh, just these different people that I'm gonna be meeting in this experience. That's what it's about, and opportunities will come.
we've done everything in the book. Greg, Greg and I actually uh, used to, when we both lived in Manhattan, we were, we were working as cater waiters. And, and uh, the nights when we weren't catering parties, we were eating ramen noodles. And the nights when we were getting parties, parties we were eating like, <laughs> you know, like when we go from, you know, the kitchen to the room, we'd like steal five coconut shrimps. <laughs> With mango chutney. Oh, take it easy on the way. Gotta take it easy. Can't deny the way that you look. So we're all, we all have had solo careers as, as solo artists. And uh, I noticed that a lot of my fans on uh, MySpace were Brian Chartrand fans. And so I reached out to them and said, hey, you know, we should do some shows together. And we, we, so we booked a tour together and went out on the road, had a great time, started collaborating. Started, I started backing up Brian on his tunes, he did the same for me. And then somewhere, we did it uh, from Sacramento, California to Rhode Island, sort of cross country trek. And, and somewhere on that trip, I called Greg and said, hey, would you meet us when we get to the East Coast? It'd be fun to do some trio shows. And, and it just, there's some, there's great chemistry and, and, and it just felt right. It felt like the, you know, it was a, it was a great blend of voices, and and, um, and so we've been playing together. First, we were playing as, as RGB, just sort of an informal side project, and then uh, based on the responses we were getting from people and, and and the fun we were having, we decided to make this a full-time gig, and it's, it became the Sweet Remains. Songwriting Circle is all about, you know, the artist and the song. You hear the song that's stripped down, you know, bareness. You can really listen to the lyrics and you can, you know, it's not overly produced. It's just the artist up there predominantly. Maybe one or two pieces of accompaniment, more often not solo, you know, doing the song and it's about the song. I find myself singing uh, same old piece, songs um, these days. It is also the title track of my latest CD. It's my fourth CD I've made and it's definitely the... Literally the uh, the prize piece of the album, I think. It's the song that if I was in a room full of strangers and they asked me to play a song, that would probably be the song that I would play. It's, and I don't know why exactly, but it just for me it uh, it just means the most. It's, it's probably the song I'm most proud of. Um, and somebody asked me last night if it was personal or more a narrative. Uh, to society, if you will, and it's kind of both. Um, you know, it's about getting yourself through a tough time in your life. And I think that some of the best songs are songs that uh, lots of people can relate to in uh, as many ways as possible. So you'll have to listen to the song if you want to dissect it yourself. Who are you fooling? Time you get yourself back together Piece by piece